Hello, this is Physical Media Fan. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough of my movie room. Uh, we live in an apartment building, and so uh, I was just able to set up a back den uh, as a movie room. Uh, just go a couple of things. The um, the hat is the Indiana Jones um, licensed hat. Uh, got it actually free from Sideshow Collectibles. If you got the uh, collector's edition of the Terminator Salvation... Um, or I'm sorry, not Terminator Salvation. If you got the um, Terminator 2 Judgment Day Blu-ray kit, um, it came with a, a gift card for um, Sideshow Collectibles. If you got the Transformers uh, Revenge of the Fallen Blu-ray kit with the, tr the Optimus Prime head, um, it came with a, a gift certificate. Or if you even got, and this is the one I used, I think, for it, if you got the um, X-Men Origins Wolverine uh, with the uh, Adamantium... Um, Wolverine statue type thing, or they're usually just about three or f three and a half inches tall. Um, got that free from SciShow Collectibles. The signs there, um, the one of the movie camera and the popcorn with the reel, um, those came from <coughs> um, uh, Kirkland's. You can find those. Um, I have a series of different collectibles. I actually have the Sweeney Todd um, razor. Uh, Jack Sparrow uh, rings, and I just have a couple things that aren't even movie related. They're just uh, like just different bullets and and brass knuckles and stuff like that. Just as just for collection's sake, um, the mini popcorn maker. Uh, I use a Soda Stream for movies. The reels I bought off of eBay. You can actually look up on eBay, and they'll actually give you the reels. And it's an actual movie trailer that that's streamed through the reels. Um, it all came together as one set. The general audience. Um, sign with the uh, 3D glasses came from Kirkland's as well. And you can look down there, uh, it's the Hot Toys Tony Stark uh, with that robot arm uh, you see in both movies. Uh, the Jurassic, Mal Jurassic Park Ultimate Edition T Rex statue, uh, the Optimus Prime head, um, the Dark Knight, uh, that's the DX, I think it's DX02. Um, Deluxe Batman Movie Masterpiece Edition. Um, and then you have Sting with the licensed scabbard. Um, the Coca-Cola can, trash can, it's known as a recycling can. You can actually get those from uh, different different places. I'm not sure if they're selling them on eBay right now, but I actually got mine from a store called Tuesday Mornings. Uh, the movie treat sign that actually came from uh, <coughs> from Kirkland's, I believe. I got a lot of stuff from Kirkland's. Um, the uh, playing car um, DVD case where a lot of my Blu-rays are kept. Um, I have the size, even though some, I'm kind of avoiding what's above the, the TV at the moment. Um, the reel, um, that little camera thing right there, that came from um, Kirkland's as well, I believe. Uh, of course, PlayStation 3 is my Blu-ray player. Um, I found the Sony 7.1 uh, audio, and then there's a laser disc down there. You can see my laser disc over there with my paintball gear. Um, and then you got the um, right about right about here. Um, those are just parts of the um, kind of the production notes kit that comes um, for King Kong. Um, the little uh, that right there, the the uh, the clapboard or not the clapboard, but the actual clipboard. Uh, it actually contains the DVDs, and it's just got like a little production journal in it. And then it came with these um, pictures right there. That's the one of her being sacrificed. I think that one right there is King Kong going through New York. Um, so you can get that. Actually, I got it from FYE for about six dollars. I think it was. It was really cheap. Um, <clears throat> I'll go over this way. Um, from my iPad. Um, this came from Home Goods. It's just a little uh, decoration light. I've actually got a little pull string um, light bulb in there. I'm trying to get that to work to work with that. Got this online. Can't remember the store name. You actually plug it in, and it lights up. That came from, I believe, Kirkland's or Bed Bath and Beyond. That now this thing's pretty cool. It contains my movie Mylar's. Actually, if you plug it in. Get in, they all light up. My cousin built this. He's a really smart guy. And if you look over here and you come in, 
I have just a couple different things. It's Gladiator helmet, just a popcorn container, some extra little real things, a clapboard with some chalk if I want to put the name of the thing on. I thought this was pretty cool. This was actually a um, greeting card. Of course, it just worked really well. I have a little bowl next to all the, the little paper 3D glasses. You know, the best in picture thing, and then of course having Costello stuff. That's pretty cool. All right, <clears throat> and then I have the Hector Barbosa collector's edition sword. You can see the little plaque right there. And I have a movie ticket carpet. I got my ottoman from um, Kohl's, and then I think the piece de resistance from this room is actually what's over the television I get myself out of the way um, Blockbuster Video is going out of, out of biz, or is going out of business and so I bought their CDC display now it looks a little bit different from what is actually in the Blockbuster um, it came with a complete this let, let me explain you have, you have one small section here that actually can separate from the whole thing you have another section right here that separates from the whole thing, and then you have this one large piece. This one large piece, it actually came with two. So you had the the bracket where the 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 frame goes in, a bracket where the frame goes in, and you had two of these. And what they actually had was they had the coming attractions and the sign like that, and then there was space on the sides where they could have a, a coming soon and a now available. And so there were smaller there were smaller slats. So what happened was. Putting this together, realizing for this room it just wasn't going to work out, I instead took the two small slats that were supposed to be the now available and coming soon, and I took those and put those together, and I left the big long piece in a in a storage area, and then one of the the, the long bracket in the storage area because it would have actually gone from from past the corner, so basically from here it would have gone all the way over this way, so it wasn't worth doing it, and just it would have made a big mess. So I kind of just. Changed it myself. And it's really cool because it's designed to hang off of the recess ceiling like this. Or the drop ceiling, actually. And you actually just twist it into place and it holds it. It's not very heavy at all. It's actually pretty light. The cool part is um, they don't they didn't have the, the, the things that went in, like the names of the movies, but I actually found out that my two and a half um, inch movie mylars were perfect they work perfectly in it and so the ones that aren't in the light box I can easily put up right here and then this is all this is just this can just be picked up real quick it's got little brackets with velcro holding onto it <clears throat> and then these are just hooked in so all I have to do is all I have to do is lift it and the cool part about this is when I want to do a poster these are like the really nice posters all I have to do is pull it down like that and it actually just stays and so it's it's a really really nice and because it was two-sided um, the other side of this says blockbuster right here it says blockbuster on the other side I wanted to use it as a backdrop because I knew I was gonna have extra space because it was gonna be coinciding right side by side so that was one piece of the blockbuster sign and I just use it as a backdrop and so normally this would be where the person who is you're where you're buying the cash register you would see this sign here on the other side it was a blockbuster video where you're walking in and so they would have two more posters on the other side so there'd be one here and then be one behind it and then there'd be one here and one behind it so i have i think one of them was one of the signs was broken so i have one just in case something happens to one of these so Definitely happy with it. I kind of like the Blu-ray, the best movie experience. I'll probably change it eventually, but I thought it was pretty cool. It was worth keeping on there for a while. And then, of course, the Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Well, that's about it for now. Um, at some point, I'll actually bring you, like, open up and show you the cases. I have uh, that case is full of movie. All, all, that's actually all Blu-rays and Smallville seasons one through five on DVD, and then seasons six through ten are actually on Blu-ray. And then I have extra Blu-rays in here that I got from Blockbuster because they were going out of business. And DVDs in there. And then the rest of my DVDs are there. And then my over 200 laser discs are right there. And so I have about, I think it's 661 movies at the moment. At the moment. So. Okay, this play case. That actually came out of the Multiplex Cinema on Route 1. It was going to be plowed with everything inside of it. 
And so uh, uh, I talked to the guy and actually got it for pretty cheap. So that is the movie room. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that I could really talk about right now. But um, just go ahead and comment on this page if you if you like what you saw. I can if there's anything that you saw that I didn't I didn't tell you um, where it came from or what I paid for it. Um, by all means, just send me a message. I'd love to share some information about you with you guys. Um, I'm happy with the way it is, um, but you know what? It'd be nice to have a bigger room. So, all right, talk to you later. Bye.